Question 4 says what mass of water at 27 degrees must be allowed to come to thermal equilibrium with a 1.86 kilogram cube of aluminum initially at 150 degrees Celsius to lower the temperature of the aluminum to 59.3 degrees Celsius. Assume any water turned to steam subsequently recondenses. So what this is saying is we've got an aluminum block that's 150 degrees. That's the, that's the initial temperature of the aluminum block. And we also have a, a uh, body of water. We don't know how much, but it has an initial temperature of 27 degrees. So that's it's an, the initial temperature of water. And then uh, these two are placed together, and the aluminum uh, has a final temperature of 59.3 degrees Celsius. So that's the, temp the final temperature of aluminum. And the water also has a final temperature. It says because the water is brought into thermal equilibrium, so it also has a final temperature of 59.3 degrees Celsius. So that's the final temperature of water. And so how much water do we need for that to happen? So for this problem, we, we need to use our transfer of energy equation. So the transfer of energy by heat by one object uh, plus the transfer of energy of heat by another object. If these are the only objects in our system, it, it, the net is going to equal zero. And so what we're going to have is a, a, the, uh, the transfer of heat by one object equals the negative of the transfer of heat, uh, the energy from the transfer of heat by the other object. So we can use our definition for Q Q is the mass times the specific heat times the change of temperature. And so uh, we can use our, our definition for Q for each side. So the mass of water times the specific heat of water times the change of temperature of water equals the mass of aluminum times the specific, or equals the negative, uh, so this is all times negative one. So negative mass of aluminum times the specific heat of aluminum times the change of temperature of aluminum. Now the only thing in this in, uh, in this right side of the equation that can be negative is the change of temperature. So I can, and since it's all multiplied, it's not added, so I don't have to distribute, I can choose to move that negative to any point I want, and so I will just move it to, uh, I'll cross it out here and put it the negative change of temperature. Now my problem asks me, what is the mass of water to do this job? So I need to solve for the mass of water. So I can say that the mass of water equals the mass of aluminum times the specific heat of aluminum, aluminum times, uh, actually times, not the change of, we're going to expand this to T final minus T initial. And since it's negative, since it's negative t final minus t initial, I, di I can distribute because this in this situation there's a minus sign, and so I can distribute at this point, and so I'm going to distribute the negative sign. So it's negative t final. And I can cross out my my minus sign uh, plus t initial, and so what that does is it reverses the equation. So I actually get t initial minus t final. So the mass of aluminum times the specific heat of aluminum times T initial minus T final, all of that over the specific uh, the specific heat capacity of water times the change of temperature of water. And so the problem gives us a bunch of stuff. It says that the mass of aluminum is equal to 1.86 kilograms and it tells us that the specific, we, we can look at the chart, the specific heat of aluminum is 900 uh, joules per kilogram times Celsius. And then on the temperature, since we're doing initial minus final, so the initial temperature uh, it gave us was, uh, was it says 1.5 times 10 squared, so that's 150 degrees Celsius, and the final temperature of aluminum was 20, uh, 20 or actually 59.3 degrees Celsius. And so for water, um, we don't know the mass, but we know that the specific heat, so I'll just draw a line right here, we don't know the mass, 
but we do know the specific heat is 4,186 um, joules per per kilogram, and the the initial temperature of the water it told us was 27 degrees Celsius. Now on water we're doing T the change of water, so T final minus T initial. So just remember to keep it to keep it the normal way, and the final temperature of water is the same 59.3 degrees Celsius. So because it's a mess, I'm going to rewrite the equation. I'm going to keep all of this stuff here. So the the mass, the mass of aluminum times the specific heat of aluminum times the initial temperature minus the final temperature of aluminum divided by the mass, or actually not the mass, but rather the the specific heat of water times the the final temperature minus the initial temperature of water. So that's the change in temperature of water and that's all going to equal the mass of water. If you plug all of your numbers in correctly you should get uh, a, a number so, uh, something like um, zero point if you use kilograms so zero point uh, I'm sorry zero nothing it's going to be one point one two two nine five kilograms so if you plug everything in correctly um, that's what you should get.